Hello everybody. Today I'll be showing you how to get custom skins in TF2. In case you don't know what a skin is, it's basically just another look for your weapon. Same weapon except just it looks differently. That's what a skin is. That's all it is. There's no change in the weapon stats. That's just a skin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna download. I'm gonna show you how to download a, a custom skin. There's two ways you can get a skin. There are two ways to get a skin. That's either through a source game add-on file or through a WinRAR file, I'll, um, or RAR file, or zip file. I'll put in the description the download link for WinRAR, which you might need in order to do one of these. I'll show you how to do it both. First way, we are going to go and look for a skin. Now, which one do we like? Well, I've done a little bit of looking beforehand, so I saved some time, and I've already come to the conclusion that I like this Eye Ringer skin. It's going to look really nice once it's done. It's a Win WinRAR file. I just download it, and it appears in my downloads folder, and it's just right here. All these are VPK, VPK files that I downloaded before, and you'll see what they do once I show you them. Now, what you're going to want to do, once you download it, we're going to show you the WinRAR thing first. You want to um, go to your custom folders in your TF in your TF2. Now, if you don't know how to get there, I'll show you. You're gonna open this up and go to OSC. You're gonna go to Program Files, Ace times A6. You are going to go to Steam, Steam Apps. This will be in the description. Common, Team Fortress 2, TF, Custom. Now I have a lot of things already in here because I like using skins and I think skins are cool. By the way, skins uh, they they should be allowed for servers. Uh, most servers are compatible with the skins I use, so there's not much problem there because skins don't change gameplay at all except for how your gun actually looks and other players can't actually see your skin until unless they have the skin. Also, it's worthy to note that while you have your skin on, every player who has a gun that your skin will fit also. Uh, oh, his gun will also fit the skin. Skins are weapon specific, so you have to be careful. On so you have to make sure you're getting the right one. This one. So I don't, I don't want one called Eye Ranger. It's basically a dead ranger that's made to look like an iPhone. Pretty cool, huh? So we're gonna extract the files. That's the first step you want to do. We extract the files. Ooh, we got an Eye Ranger here. Um, I find it helpful to set up custom to shortcut, just because it's just a lot faster. Now. We're gonna put this just like sometimes this may work, sometimes this may not. We're gonna once you do that, you're gonna put it in your customs folder. Now, this is this could work and this could not work. I'll show you why. So we're gonna put it in here, and I'm gonna go to TF2 and see if my dead ringer has turned into an iPhone. It should automatically your gun skin should automatically switch if you have something in this folder and it's legitimately equipped. Okay, here we are in TF2. I'm just I just made an offline ser bot server. Um, I disable all bots so you can be able to see. We got seconds. our weapon. Now we are gonna check right now, and it appears I stole the dead ringer equipped. That means it did not work. After you. Um, if it doesn't work, if it doesn't work, don't worry. Your game's not broken or anything. Um, if it can't read the file, if it can't I correctly identify a skin, it's just gonna pretend that the file's not there. Or should at least. Uh, it, but still, I'd still recommend that if you had a file in there that wasn't working and, and you, didn't, you can't get it working, I'd recommend taking it out until you figure out a way to get it working because just who knows? Files are tricky. Um, it's okay though if you fail a game this few times because I'll show you why it failed more importantly. Um, and, th and this is why using a VPK files are usually more reliable because there's no like, there's nothing. Uh, tough to go with VPK. VPKs are like, usually just put, paste it in there and you're done. Nothing with VPK files that are hard. Um, VPK, by the way, are a source game add on side. I'm sure you. So we're going to go back and see why did our Dead Ringer not work. Okay, I'm back. Now we're going to go to Custom Shortcut. And since our Dead Ringer did not work, I'm going to drag this out of this folder just to be on the safe side. Now we're going to open this up, and what you're going to see here is, there's usually a file called sound, and then there's, 
um, some more files. Sound usually does not matter. You do not have to have sound for this the skin to work. We're gonna go to iRinger and we're gonna check this out because um, sometimes if uh, sometimes there's files inside of the extracted file that that works, and if you don't have the files by itself, it's not gonna work. The way it's designed to search, it's it's designed to go into the custom folder, then it's to search for a folder with your add-on, then it's to search for models and materials inside of the folder directly without going to any other folders. So, if it doesn't work, what you're really going to want to do is go into a folder and check, find anything that says models or materials. Models or materials usually means you got the right one. Here we go. <coughs> Bless me. <coughs> a little under the weather today. But... We found the um, uh, folder. Yeah, folder is what we're looking for. We found it with the material and the models. Now, these two we're going to want, but we're not going to want them by themselves. So, we want them in a folder with iRinger. And same name. Uh, you might want to sh change the name if it's the same name. So, it's helpful. So, iRinger 1 works just fine. You drag it out here. Now, now we're going to shut this. We're going to custom. And we're going to place it in here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut back to TF2 to see if our new skin worked. Alright, we are back in TF2. Now we will check if our new skin worked. Um, I recommend checking all these skins before joining multiplayer match. Also, 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 yeah, I'm talking weird today too. Also, what's really worthy to know is Every time you like, if you change stuff up in your customs folder to reset it, you're gonna want to shut. You, know, you have to shut out of your game completely for the skins to put, be applied into effect. We're gonna check, and we have our eye ringer. Now it looks like an iPhone. Lovely, yay! Now I can text and chat, and it even it's even pretty realistic because just think about how fast the eye ringer, the dead ringer, the iPhone battery runs out. Get it? So funny. Anyway, um, your installation is complete. Enjoy your new skin. Remember only that you can see the skin unless Mission another player has the same skin equipped, and you'll be able to see yours and every other Dead Ringers. Um, you should this should be allowed on most servers. You should have fun with these. Um, these won't help you in any way except that hey, yeah, you got an iPhone in your hand instead of a watch. Now I'm going to show you right now how to download. I don't install VPK files. It's insanely easy and it won't take a fraction of your time. Okay, I'm back in my monitor now. Now we're going to show you how to download VPK files. These might come by themselves, but just to save time, I'm just going to throw them in all at once because I just downloaded a bunch and they're not big, so it's pretty easy. You're done installing them. Congratulations. They usually come with catch files, you're just going to throw them in there too, and that's really all there is to just this. That is all there is. I'm going to show you how they look in the game just to prove that that was really all you needed to do. So yeah, it's extremely easy to download these. Alright, we are back in Dust Bowl and we are going to show you how it looks. As you can see, it already has appeared on my screen and it is working perfectly. This takes place in more than one gun, which is very helpful to notice. And I'm using my stream Chulanho uh, heater, and yeah, that's not a good weapon, but still. I got my aperture, and I got this, and now I'm pretty loaded out. Now let's check the soldier, see if he fared as well, because I had a full build rocket launcher, which is not this one. As you can see, um, important, another important thing to know is that sometimes some items they will show up in your item loadout. Like, like an exception to this one is uh, my aperture shotgun which will not be which so you can see my rocket my bow build rocket launch here but you can't see my you can't see my Mission aperture shotgun there's not anywhere here you can see here which is really interesting Five, so four, three, you can just go out and two, shoot the bow build one. rockets which is pretty sick I think I'm not sure if you can see it but you can see me loading on this one. yeah that's all there is to download a VPK file. Just get them and throw them in. That's all you literally do. And yeah. It's very easy to download these files, and everything should be in the description. 
So everything should be in the description for th this video, and uh, unless the description has a restriction on it, I have to check that out. Um, the steps are very easy. Once you get the hang of it, there's nothing really to it. The the RAR files to get them um, sometimes are a little bit tough, but nothing that can't be solved without a little bit of searching. And the VBK files, just if they don't work, just throw them out because they're probably bad. They're just not working. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. I just found this weapon apparently, and because it has my skin on it, I get to see my skin instead of the actual town slab. That's a really nice addition. Hey guys, um, I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video. Um, I had a few word goofs up here and there, so I'm sorry about that. And I know my audio still is top notch, and I really do apologize on the last part for not being full screen. I goofed up and I recorded my entire monitor and stuff just a game. Um, that is probably my fault. Excuse this gameplay because I actually just bought out this random video of uh, my hard drive. It was out of nowhere. Um, feel free to subscribe and drop a like. Um, I will definitely need them if I want to keep working on this because likes physically help me work on videos. Um, I am sorry if this video didn't really help you. I, I will try to include the entire process in the comments if the comments will allow me. Not the comments, I mean, yeah, I goofed up again. There, see, I'm not perfect. I meant in the description. So, I hope you all enjoyed the video, nevertheless, and I hope it taught you a little bit something about skins. Um, this works for a few other games, too, so just in case you want to know that. And with that, I'm out. Goodbye.